Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're just gonna do a quick review on these winter tires that I picked up for the MR2 Spider. Actually last year, but I just thought I would do a review as winter's coming and I know some MR2 drivers like to take their car in the snow or wanna try for the first time this year. So here we are, we have the Nexen Wingard Ice Plus. I picked these up on eBay for actually pretty cheap. I'll take a picture and uh, attach it into the video so you guys can see where I got it on eBay, the title and like the price. But anyways, these are Wingard Nexen Ice Pluses, like I said, and they come in an MR2 Spider friendly size, which is 195 50 15. I was actually looking to get 185s because I wanted to go as narrow as possible, but I ended up uh, just finding these and putting it square on the MR2 Spider. Anyways, as far as the tire performs, it's really good. It probably feels better than a crappy all season in the wet, actually. It gives you a lot of positive traction, especially in the MR2 Spider. For anyone that hasn't driven on real snow and ice tires, it makes a huge difference, like night and day, probably in comparison to someone that's never tried like 200 treadwear on a track. It's kind of that big realization that you get when you drive with the actual tires made for the situation. And of course, tires are always the best upgrade for your car. It affects the acceleration, turning and braking, and really just does the most uh, bang for buck for any performance mod, whether for snow or racing, etc. But anyways, we have these tires, super cheap for the MR2 Spider. As you guys can see, it has a lot of ice and snow siping. It's got the little tears in the uh, tread made to pick up uh, grip and snow. It also has pretty deep sipes for snow. One thing to note is that they are directional, so you can't rotate them like a asymmetrical snow tire. So you have to only rotate them by removing the tire and uh, mounting them left and right. But anyways, I just wanted to do a quick mention of this tire option for any MR2 Spider driver or I guess small sports car driver out there. These would fit on a Miata or a Honda just fine. I also wanted to touch in this video how an MR2 Spider drives in the snow. In my experience, it's actually super easy and predictable as long as you have the correct setup, meaning alignment and tires, like always. As long as you have these tires and a good alignment and your car is driving normal, and I guess a little bit of a higher ride height, maybe stock it's super high, but if you have coilovers, you wanna be a little bit higher so you don't gather snow and ice like in your radiator and overheat. But as far as drivability, the MRT Spider is actually really easy to drive if you have the correct tires. It has a lot of positive traction when you accelerate as the car squats and all the weight is on the rear tire. So it really doesn't get a lot of wheel spin at all as long as you have the correct tires. As far as cornering ability, the MR2 will stop easily and corner easily. And you also have the rear wheel drive uh, to your advantage to rotate the car if you're getting any understeer or things like that. Uh, compared to other drivetrains, I've driven everything, uh, all wheel drive, FR, front wheel drive in the snow. The MRS is actually probably second to all wheel drive, in my opinion. Super easy to drive, a lot of grip. Uh, front wheel drive, you get a lot of understeer and the weight is not in the right place when you're accelerating or going quickly because you're putting weight on the rear. But the MR2 Spider really has a lot more traction in my experience driving compared to my fit and the MRS, both on snow tires. So yeah, if you guys haven't driven or given it a try in the snow, uh, don't be afraid, especially if you have the right tires like these. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick video and I'll see you in the next one. 